Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. We're heading into the morning of the 23rd of July 2021 in the Western Pacific. And of course, info, the big topic here. But this is what I want to show you, though. Uh, some dry air entrainment continuing to filter in from this storm. So you're not really seeing the impact so much in the Taiwan just yet because of the dry air that I was also wrapping around, making that eye uh, extra large, actually kind of like a bowling ball here on satellite uh, imagery. And uh, with that said, that means we're, we're kind of steadied off at a weak cat two, strong cat one type of a storm. Another thing I want to show you before we get into kind of the forecast here is that banding wrapping in around. This is something talking about for about the last week now is that banding that's going to be wrapping in behind us with the monsoonal flow and impacting Okinawa. Honto. been seeing some decent tropical storm strength conditions out there all week. Prolonged wind event because of how slow this is going almost stationary at this time and that inflow coming in behind it winds estimated in the center of circulation 157 gusting to 195 kilometers per hour uh there's a look at those rain bands but i want to be blunt with you um as far as destruction or damage in these islands i know first glance if you're not used to this area you're looking at the radar imagery and you're probably thinking whoa uh, so they're going to get it. Um, the, the infrastructure out here is built for it. It's building codes. But not only that, let's say you build a wooden building with not reinforced, uh, it will blow away in the matter of a, a few years. Uh, just a few years ago, we actually had Cat 4, Cat 5 type winds out here. So that island definitely built for it. So far, Miyakojima has seen about 112 kilometer per hour gust. Meanwhile, back towards these earlier this week, boy, Nanjo 122, Naha had a wind gust of 100 kilometers per hour. Here's the main points I want you to take away from this update. Storm is moving very, very slow. Banding still wrapping around and impacting Okinawa while the heavy rain is to be expected into Taiwan. I'll get that out in a second. Let's talk about the track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. They have this still uh, it might intensify just a bit more once it pulls away. I mean, right now it's almost stationary and that dry air is mixing in, but also we're getting what we call upwelling. It's pulling colder water from under the surface because it's just sitting there. So it's churning up some of that cooler water. Once it gets a move on eventually after it starts to move away from this high pressure it's butting up against towards the west, uh, it could tap into some warmer waters. Might see a burst of new convection before it pulls further towards north, eventually making landfall there around the mouth of the Yangtze uh, River Basin there closer to Shanghai. But Friday morning, Miyakojima already seeing those typhoon strength conditions as we go ahead through into Saturday. Saturday, those winds are going to be wrapping around with gusty conditions, likely tropical storm strength through Saturday morning into Taipei. Big issue is going to be those winds being pushed up into some of the higher elevations there in northern Taiwan, thus increasing uh, the rainfall out there. And then as we go ahead into Sunday, it does start to move a little bit faster, as I mentioned, making landfall likely just south of Shanghai. Uh, by that point, finally, the winds will start to back off. For those of you across uh, Okinawa and the Amami Islands and eventually back there towards the uh, southwest and the Ishigaki and Miyako, but that's not until the end of the weekend. Ensembles, I know you guys like the spaghetti models, uh, pretty much agrees with that forecast. And there's a look at that rainfall. Oh my goodness, Yangtze River Basin, they don't need any more rain out here, by the way. It was further towards the west where we had uh, that serious flooding earlier this week, but still, uh, look at that, 800 millimeters being picked up by this model. Uh, still got that wraparound effect, so you're still going to see those higher showers into uh, Taiwan as well. All right, bigger picture. All right, Kampaka, pretty much gone. Still, look at all that convection, though, all that moisture inflow creating problems across western Luzon. And plus, we have another invest area. I'll make a separate video on this guy, because this is going to be interesting as far as the Olympics are concerned uh, out here as well. Nice photo sent in, by the way, uh, uh, from uh, Taiwan. All right, so there's that moisture inflow wrapping in around. Just a quick uh, discussion here on that influence there for Western Luzon, where you still have that Habagat advisory in place. That includes over towards Milo. I do think that's going to stay in place throughout the weekend into early next week with those scattered showers. So. Do not underestimate these floods out here. No red rainfall warnings have been issued across a few areas there on the West Coast. I'll make another video on that tomorrow. More detail, but uh, I really want to emphasize uh, info out here right now since that is kind of the 
driving force of all the weather across our area. Check out the Patreon in the link down below if you uh, want to help out. Plus, don't forget that, uh, you know, if you do, I'll give you a shout out at least here. Got a new few new people actually on Patreon, including Emmanuel, Lori, Jennifer. Thank you very much. As well as the Super Typhoons, Red J, Tracy, Joseph, and Rusty. These guys right in here. Thank you very much. You're all legends in my book, uh, especially Jacqueline. I can't thank you enough out there in Okinawa uh, donating to help keep these updates going and upgrades. Uh, the graphics I just showed you a second ago are the new graphics that are currently being installed on my computer, which maybe from the next storm, we might already have those up and ready to go. I've been talking about them for about six months, but when you get TV level graphics on a YouTube channel, it doesn't, it's not turnkey, it's not push button. It takes a minute. It takes a minute to get everything together, get everybody together, and get everything working. So I appreciate all the support from you guys, also all the feedback. And whenever you comment and stuff like that, you know, it helps feed the algorithm. So I truly appreciate that too. As always, thanks for watching and stay